The overall goal of the procedures presented here is to identify stages of spore germination so that gene transcript levels can be assessed. Analysis of these changes will provide further knowledge of a critical stage in disease dispersal. This method can help answer key questions about transitions during teliospore germination that are linked to changes in gene transcript levels and thus reflect shifts in gene expression control. The main advantages of this technique are that it identifies transitions in respiration level that don't correspond to visible morphological switches and allows for physical isolation of teliospores at distinct stages of germination. This technique has implications for the control of pathogen dissemination because it allows us to identify key transitions in spore germination that, if altered, could block disease spread. Begin this procedure with corn cob infection, teliospore harvesting, as well as teliospore viability and germination test, as described in the text protocol. To induce germination, first, weigh an equal amount of teliospores for each respiration experiment. In a biosafety cabinet, add the teliospores to an autoclaved respiration chamber. Fill the chamber with potato dextrose broth supplemented with streptomycin sulfate and canamycin sulfate. Pipette up and down to create a teliospore suspension. Place the chamber lid in the chamber to create an airtight seal. To obtain the OCR measurement, first, place the chamber in the chamber rack inside a water bath. Then, place the oxygen probe inside the opening of the chamber. Monitor the data point.